Hi, so I get a lot of this question that says, hey, what happened if I did not disconnect the battery while replacing the iPad screen? Will that destroy my iPad? Would it damage the iPad? So in this video, I'm going to do exactly that for not disconnecting the battery and replace the screen and see what happens. Now, just going to fast forward. I know that you don't have time to watch the entire video for the replacement screen. I'm just going to say nothing happens at the end of the video. And um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, this is the iPad. Uh, the home button works. So let's turn it off. Press the home button. And that thing shows up. And identify the model is going to be A2270. That is the model. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, make sure you always have the uh, protective gear to protect your eyes at all time. I'll be using a heat gun. Oh, go ahead and... Uh, you should turn off the iPad though. If you can turn off the iPad, you should turn off the iPad. Okay, for those of you who cannot turn off the iPad, it is okay for not turning off the iPad. You still can uh, change out the glass without any problem. So just so you know that the uh, tempered glass, the screen protector, they do not protect, um, you know, the iPad crack screen. Um, they actually doesn't do anything to that, to be honest with you. Glass is glass, they do breaks. Uh, but what I recommend to use is to use a better iPad case. Any iPad that has like a, a rubber grip that goes above the glass, like you can see that the uh, the case is covering the glass so during the impact the only thing that absorbs um, the impact would be the case first so think about that because glass is glass they do breaks and again um, protect the, the those protective um, uh, stuff do not protect the, the screen okay but they do protect from scratches so if you have coins or keys or anything that you know, scratch again the glass, then the, the uh, protective uh, tempered glass, they do protect them. But the uh, being cracked, the answer is no. Well, for some reason that this glass here is very sticky and every time I try to uh, open it up, it get more crack. So, so I'm just going to have more cracks on it uh, because nothing much I can do. The crack is pretty, pretty severe.
So I'll be reusing the uh, home button because the home button is the touch ID. We need to reuse the original home button for the touch ID to work. Um, just be very careful when it comes to the bottom part of it. This is where the Wi-Fi antenna and all the um, uh, yeah the Wi-Fi antenna is there, and as well as the home button flex cable, they are all at the bottom part of it. So when opening it up, just be very careful with that and try not to uh, break any of the cables. Okay, I'm going to cut off the uh, the digitizer cable here. We do not need that as well because the screen can go away. And of course, you want to come back and clean up all this uh, leftover broken glass. Alright, I've cleaned most of it here on the iPad. I just wanted to come here and clean off the table a little bit. And again, you want to come back and clean the rest of adhesive that is still sticking onto the iPad. Any broken glass, anything like that, you want to come back and re-clean it again. All 
All right, so let's jump right into the second part of it is to remove the screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver here, 1.5 millimeter. Looks like they have some kind of uh, gel and glue holding down the LCD screen. I'm using a tweezer to go ahead and scrape off that little extra adhesive, like that little glue right there. That thing is holding down the LCD screen. Continue removing the three screws that is holding down the bracket and the LCD screen. Go ahead and disconnect the LCD screen cable. I'm using a plastic prying tool. And that two little cable that I cut earlier, that is the uh, digitizer. So that is the cable I cut off for the LC, uh, I mean the glass. I'm here just cleaning off um, whatever leftover glass that is on the screen. Just clean that thing off for a second. Come back and shake off more of the broken glass. All right, as you can see that the battery is still being connected to the iPad. It is not disconnected at this point. I'm going to transfer the new screen. So let's just push this stuff here on the side. All right, so here comes my screen replacement. That is the uh, two cables right there. So take your time when you install that because they are just like Lego, they need to be snapped on right on top of each other. Uh, you do not want to have any, um, any force to push it in because um, once you bend the pin, the connector, then it's going to be very difficult to, to repair, almost none. Take your time, align it, don't force it, don't push it fast and uh, I am more afraid of this connector than not this not connect not disconnecting the battery Because once you messed up the bracket, again, once you messed up the bracket, there's no repair for that. You understand? I mean, if you never make a backup of the iPad, your iPad is gone because uh, you're not able to log in, you're not able to uh, swipe, to unlock backup things like that so be very careful with that two connector that i just put in now i'm going to put in the lcd screen okay press it down gently make sure everything is in place and i'm going to turn on the ipad just like that now of course i am not going to um put in the uh the screen and cover and install the power button yet i just wanted to uh, straight up letting you know it is okay to change out the iPad without disconnecting the battery. So if you forgot to disconnect the battery, uh, it is totally 
fine. As you can see that the iPad turns on, nothing's wrong with it. I could test the power um, home but button, okay? Let me press it. There you go. Unable to activate the Touch ID. What happened to that? Did I mess it up? Is this a third party or is this original? It looks like original home button. I need to check on the cabling. Why did it say that? Okay, so let me press again. So not a big deal. I'll, I'll double check the uh, home button for just a second. And I wanted to make sure that the screen works. All right, as you can see that I can press the screen. Come on. I do not know the passcode. I just want to test it out. Some of the numbers here, uh, everything looks good. So as you can see, everything works, touch work. So all I have to do is to put the, um, um, the home button back together put the screws back in, screw up the, uh, the screen, and that should be it. And then just install the um, screen all back together. All right, so this video, just to show that it is okay, if you forgot to disconnect the battery, uh, the iPad would be still a functioning iPad, nothing is wrong with it. Um, but of course, if you remember to do it, disconnect the battery is the best option. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye now.